Grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Michael Salmon from Harvest Christian Fellowship. I am the pastor of Harvest in Phoenix, Arizona, and the bishop of the Lathian Christian Church in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I thought I'd give a quick video just to let everyone know uh, of the things that are going on in our society today. Uh, first of all, I'm being, being very sick and tired of hearing all kinds of things. And let me just kind of let you know what exactly I am talking about. I am talking about this that is going on. End times, rapture, tribulation, signs, all these things that we're hearing in all these news. First of all, let me just make a bold declaration. As the bishop of the Christian church, I am here to let you know that the Messianic uh, uh, denomination, or whatever you may call it, the Messianic Christians, is not a it is not a true denomination for Christ. It is not a Christian denomination. As a matter of fact, um, those who believe they believe in Jesus Christ. Don't get me wrong, and many some of them are very sincere in the faith. Don't get me wrong with that. And it's not that there aren't saved people in there. For I believe there are saved people in the Messianic uh, faith. I believe there are some saved people in in even in Catholicism that really have a heart and desire to serve the Lord. But let me just say that the religion in itself, the Messianic religion, um, pulls away, and it has it has done a lot of damage in Christianity. And what I mean by that is, is it can it focuses on a lot of the Jewish holidays and traditions and calendars and all these things it puts emphasis on, and this type of behavior has leaked into Christianity tremendously. Very tremendously. As a matter of fact, when when Israel became a, a nation in 1948 and Zionism took control, prior to that there wasn't one messianic religion. There was not one messianic denomination. But after that, after Israel became a nation, messianic uh, the the messianic uh, religion uh, flourished, and there were messianic congregations were were flourishing. But if anyone were to go to a messianic uh, church, they would find that a majority of the people who are in Messianic churches are not Jewish. A majority of them are, are Gentiles. There's probably maybe two or three Jews, you know, traditional Jews, or or actually Jews who were born Jews. But um, but a majority of them are usually Christian, are, are Gentiles uh, in a Messianic religion. So they're not really reaching Jews. As a matter of fact, Jews, uh, Jew, Jews for Jew, uh, or the um, Jews for Judaism has a huge propaganda right now. It has a very large advertisement that is flourishing. That is just that is just uh, tidal waving society right now about about the Messianic Jews, and they're they're coming against Christianity in a very bold and strong ways. As a matter of fact, cutting down Jews for Christ. It's not those that Jews for Christ and other people don't have missions. I believe they have good missions. I believe that they win some to Christ. I believe they have a purpose. Now, And that's what I don't want to get that wrong because I am not limiting the work of God. He can do whatever he wants to do. But what I am saying is, is the traditions and the end times and dispensationalism, which is all these false theologies that are false doctrines, false teachings, are doing nothing but creating false hope in people's hearts and their minds. Uh, for example, just right now in September 12, 13, 14, and now we're in September 15th of 2015, there's a lot of people like uh, um, uh, Jeffrey Kahn, or I'm sorry, um, Joshua Kahn, and, and others who are coming out, Sid Roth, and all these preachers, John Hagee with the, the blood moons and the prophecies and all these, this is the end time, CERN, and this and this and this and this is going all out. But in reality, that is not at all true. It is all false. People say, well, we don't know exactly the time and date. And they're absolutely right. We don't know. But we can tell the seasons. And I can say one thing, that yes, we are drawing closer to the season. We're seeing our society change. But... We're saying, people are coming and saying, oh, September, September it is, September, that's it, we're going to be raptured, we're going to be raptured in September, we're going to be raptured, this is it, on the 28th, on the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, look at all, a majority of those who believe such things are mostly stuck on dispensationalism, they are being fed by the messianic uh, traditions, and again, I don't want to, uh, this, this whole purpose of the video is not to attack messianic uh, religion or the messianic uh, faith, but rather it is the purpose of this is to say, hey, don't believe all this hype. There are two things that God tells us to look for. Number one, he says the great apostasia, the turning away. 
These things must occur prior to Christ returning. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, it makes it very, very clear. Let me see if I can get that up for you while that's coming up. In 2 Corinthians, or uh, um, in in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 makes it very clear on what we should look for when it comes down to the gathering of the Lord. There's all kinds of signs. There's all kinds of things that are going out. Okay, So um, let me see here. There we go. And let me give you a, a bigger uh, view of what I am looking at. Um, kind of helps you out here. Okay, we're going to just jump up. And this is coming from eSword, uh, which is a great program. I highly recommend it. And even giving a little donation, which is great for them because uh, they have done real good on this. Okay, here we go. So let's take a look at this. <clears throat> Makes it very clear. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. Okay? This is this is the rapture. This is us gathering together. This is not a second. Okay, take a look at here. It's called Episonomagia, okay, which is a complete collection, especially a, our gathering unto him. Okay, and, and of course he's, he's referring, Be not shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand. Okay, so again, what are we seeing today? We are seeing, we are seeing um, people uh, sending letters, prophecies, TV shows, programs about, about all this stuff. Okay, so let's go on. Um, he says, don't be shaken, don't be troubled, don't be uh, by spirit, by word, or by letter. He says, let no man deceive you, no man deceive you, okay, by any means, for that day, okay, this has been added, okay, so for that day, whenever you see italicize like that in King James, it's, it's usually been added, he says, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, let's take a look at the word falling away, okay, there come a falling away, is... The Greek word here, apostasia. Okay, sorry. I kind of know the word. I'm just kind of delaying here. Apostasia, meaning the defection from the faith. Okay, that has to happen first. Okay, so the very first thing before we are raptured, it has to be, it has to be an apostasia, a turning away from the faith. People turning away from faith. Read Matthew 24, makes it very clear. Okay, and then he says, and then, let's go on. He says, and then, after that, um, the Son of Man is revealed, the Son of, or the, and then that man of sin be revealed, the Son of Perdition, who opposes himself, exalts himself above God, sorry, let me go back here, uh, and is worshipped, that he, as God, sits in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things? Okay, so... He says it very clear. Don't you remember when I was with you, I warned you of these things? That these things must come first. Folks, this is a sign. I want to I just want to give you one last thing because this is not so much about the, the doctrine of the rapture, which is on another video. But I want to take you to another text here. Just real quick, because scripture confirms with scripture, okay? So Matthew chapter 24, it says, um, when he says, Many will come in my name. And then he goes here. Let me see here. There we go. Bingo. Okay. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for his witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. When you, therefore, shall see the abomination of desolation. What is abomination of desolation? This is the Antichrist sitting down, claiming himself to be God. Spoken of Daniel, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. So, this is very strong indication, like this is about us now. Then let them which in Judea flee into the mountain, let him which is on the housetop flee, woe unto them, and then he goes, Then shall be great tribulation, such as not since, since the beginning of the world, nor ever shall be. So that time shall come. And then he says, Except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay? So, if anyone says here's Christ, there's Christ. Okay, I'm not. I don't. Again, I don't want to get uh, so far into uh, this thing. But here's my point: Stop believing all these people. Stop. Then yeah, even today, I was watching a program. Sid Roth sta standing up saying, "There's going to be a great awakening. There's going to be a great revival. There's going to." Guys, this is also false theology. 
we are definitely at a at a decline, and and it is accelerating. The more we're get, getting gravity is accelerating more and more and more. I mean, all the way through. So we are accelerating downhill. Okay, we're reaching out. We're bringing people to Christ, but all this blood moon stuff and all this Jewish holidays and all these feasts of trumpets began and Rosh Hashanah and the Jubilee. Don't believe all that stuff. That stuff is not what God tells, tells us to look for. Do not observe months and days and, and years and seasons. That observation is not from God. It is not from Christ. If you pray, if you really pray and get your mind out of it and just read the scriptures, only the scriptures, you will find what I'm saying to you is actually is accurate, 100% accurate. But if you start believing all that stuff and, and anything, you're going to find yourself, uh, you know, uh, pulled away from the truth. I pray this helps you out. I pray this gives you peace. There's only one hope. There's one peace, and that's in Jesus Christ. To come to Christ because of the cross is much more important than to come to Christ because of a blue moon or because of the tribulation or because of this. Come to Christ because he loves you and he saved you through Jesus Christ. Through his death, burial, and resurrection, you have been saved through the Son of God. You can come and be saved through him. You don't need all that stuff. You don't need to know all that stuff. All you need to know is to love the Lord thy God with all the heart, strength, and mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. When you start serving that and you start doing what God's calling you to do, it all comes together. My name is Pastor Michael Salomon from Harvest Christian Fellowship. If you have any questions, check us out on our website at www.hcfaz.org. Befriend us on Facebook. Um, if you have any questions, we'll be glad to help you out and even answer. Maybe if you have some problem with what I said, we'll be answered. Otherwise, may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you in Jesus' name.